but we can't not talk about Queen. All right, no, I, mean... I, know, I know the deal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be on here after winning my Oscar and I'll still have to say to him, oh, I bought hell is death. But you know what, Jimmy? <laughs> that is why, you know, it was like a 45-second montage and it drew us all in, didn't it? I mean, and that storyline absolutely did. And I was just reading today that originally Haley was meant to be not a joke character, but it was supposed to be a throwaway character. Well, it was, okay. it? It was going to be a, a sort of joke. Roy was going to have a, a series of disastrous dates, of which Haley was the first one. And obviously the, the sort of end of that story was that she was transgendered and that was going to be like, oh, I can't possibly we be with her. Which is unthinkable now. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, uh, I mean, I didn't really know that, to be honest, when I took the role. I was I like, was in it for the long haul and I was taking it very, very seriously, you know. And, uh, and actually, it was, it was just one of those magical things that happened, that there was a bit of chemistry between... Um, me and David Nielsen, who plays Roy, and the two oh, characters really? really took off and people rooted for him. Oh, hello. People really wanted them to be together. And, and so, so then, when the law was very different and everything, oh, I'd be in, like, supermarket uh, no, and, uh, no, no, and please, people would be saying to me, like, oh, when are you two getting married? And I'd be like, oh, we're not allowed. You know, it's, it's illegal. And they'd be like, never mind that. <laughs> That's the way to change the world, you know. That's the yeah. way. Exactly. Yeah. Just be in someone's living room four times a week. For them and so to get used to it and go, yeah. wait, this yeah. is cool. This, this is just for love. you. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's and the way to the person. sort of get rid of prejudice completely. Yeah. 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 Oh, those final scenes. I mean, what was it like shooting those final scenes? Oh, it was it was really heartbreaking. I mean, absolutely. Because for me, it was not just like the end of the story. It was I'm also so saying goodbye to David. It was saying goodbye Thank to you. that amazing cast and crew. I've been so happy there. But also saying goodbye to Haley. You know, it was part yeah. of me, but separate. So it was a, it was a kind of a weird thing. Well, it was 16 a years. 16 years is a long time. That's was, a relationship. That's like... It, it is, yeah. it is. And we sort of melded into one almost. Yeah. So it was like, almost like taking a bit of myself away. Yeah. So on the last day, there's like a picture of me on the street, on the very last scene that I shot, which was on the street. And everybody sort of piled around the corner to say goodbye to me. And I'm just fetal. I'm just like, oh, oh. what have I done? What have I done? Oh. It was really hard, but... Yeah. Um, but you know, and, it's it was been good. And of course, in those early days, we used to be a guest, a loose woman guest uh, panelist. Yeah, yeah. Back when it was live, yeah. so back in Manchester. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so young. And we do you remember us? We were. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, god. Wow. Oh. Oh. Like, and you had a few we, nights out, didn't we? We had a few nights out. We had a few stories to tell back from yeah. that. <laughs> and, all, and, and do you remember when Julie was telling us about when you met your fella? Oh. And it was so quick. Yeah. And yeah. we were like, blind. Yeah, because it was while I was doing it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yes, yeah. Oh, so I remember yeah. the night you were telling us yeah. about this bloke. Yeah, yeah. This bloke. This bloke. This bloke. This bloke. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I refer to him as that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, why, how was it so quick? Well, we, we kind of we were acquaintances because right. my very first week on Corrie, he was in. He used to be an actor. I soon put pair to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never that. No, 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 no. Get, get right in. It's like, yeah, get it selling. And, um, so yeah, we, he was always like the evil Weatherfield Gazette reporter, and so we, so we. We'd cross paths, and then a, a mutual friend of ours was living with him while he was in Corrie, and it was this mutual friend's birthday. And it was just one of those things, you know, when you, we were sitting next to each other and sort of something happened, and as he got <laughs> up to leave, I said to him, I was a bit drunk, I said to him, um, I want to marry you. And he laughed, and I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. I told my mum the next day, she was furious at me. You frighten him off, Jew. You frighten him off. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and it might not have been the first time I'd done that also, you know. It's like, he was just the only one daft enough to, like, take notice. So, yeah, so we had this, like, whirlwind. So this is a regular pulling line. <laughs> I love you know, this. Thrown up against the fan, one's bound to stick. That yeah, works. absolutely, absolutely, eventually. Yeah. Someone and, and just, this like, one did. Yeah, someone's daft enough to... Is it true you moved in it. after three days? Yeah, so we had this ridiculous, sort of, um, very, very <laughs> big text relationship for a few days <laughs> where we'd planned our wedding, named our kids. I mean, literally. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so when we had our first date on the Sunday night, we were quite shy. <laughs> <laughs> you played me too much of it, said. We 
were a bit like, oh, uh, hi. Uh, so, <laughs> who's your father of my children? Uh, uh, what do we do now? And, um, and then by the Wednesday, I'd moved in with him. And then, and then we went, we went uh, to America. We went to, uh, on a road trip in America uh, uh, about six weeks later to go and get married in Vegas. And on the way there, I found out I was pregnant with our oldest daughter, Martha. No way. I already named Martha because absolutely... Because you've done it in the text. Martha. In the text. <laughs> and I swear this is the truth. I'd said, uh, he said, what do you want from me? And I'd said, not much, a cliff top wedding and maybe a couple of kids in her. Uh, and he put Martha or Arthur. And I was like, Arthur, and we, and we have a Martha. We have Martha. Oh. And, it, and if she'd have been a boy, she would have been Arthur. <laughs> Your husband has written, I want to see this play. Now he has given you the ultimate gift, the ultimate romantic gesture. He has written a play for you. And not just any old play, the greatest play in the history of the world. Yes, which is explained in the play, I need to say that. But, yeah, yeah. again, another another great Hesmond Helsh bullying tactic. I said to him, no, he's a writer, not an actor. I said, well, what's the point of being married to a writer if you don't write me something? Like, write me a one-woman play that we can uh, tour into our old age. Don't make it age-specific. You know, make it sort of... <laughs> and, uh, and I just imagined us in our 70s with, like, a, a suitcase just going to, like, you know, little, oh. little festivals in oh, Brooklyn. I love that. You know, oh. Melbourne, whatever. Oh, I love that. And so, and so he did. He kept disappearing over this one Christmas into the cellar, cos he literally does write in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a bit of a vitamin D now and again, you know. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make him get down and write. <laughs> Very good life. <laughs> and again, somebody else. <laughs> Nothing without me. I'm the wind beneath his wings. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, he kept disappearing over this Christmas, but not even to an annoying degree. I did. Just like go, just now and again, like just as if he was writing a paragraph. And then at the end of Christmas, he, he presented me with oh. the greatest play in oh. so And he faced any challenges with this one-woman show to. You know, is it is it a challenge for you to play? That is a story as... we're going to have to hear when Julie oh. comes back. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no,